I made a laser cut desktop tensegrity table set a few weeks ago and since then a number of people have asked for a similar 3D printable version. Have a look at that video if you haven't already. I made two designs, one which uses fishing line as the center support and another which uses two magnets. So I've converted both of them into 3D printable parts. When you first look at them, it appears that the top surface is being supported by the three outer pieces of fishing line. But taking a closer look, you'll see that the line doing all of the work is actually the one in the center. The piece of fishing line in the center of the structure is in tension and is supporting the load of the surface of the table and whatever is placed onto it. The three pieces of line on the outside are simply holding the top surface in place so that it remains directly overhead the center line and doesn't fall over. If any of these four lines are cut, the table will collapse under its own weight. Let's get into building the 3D printed tensegrity tables. For each version there are two print options. One which is a print in place model, which requires some support structure to be printed to support the overhanging arm, and another which allows the table surface and arm to be printed separately and then glued together. If you choose this option then simply clean up the edges and then glue the arm into the slot. I 3D printed mine using PLA with a 15% infill. Once your models are printed, remove the support structure and clean them up. I've added a 0.5mm hole in the corner of the table surfaces for the fishing line. Your 3D printer probably won't be able to print these accurately enough to use right away, but at least the slicing software will add the necessary walls to the area so that you can clean up the holes with a 0.5 or 1mm drill bit, depending on your fishing line diameter. I use fishing line because it doesn't fray and it's a bit more rigid than cotton or string, so it's easier to thread through the holes. Cut four lengths of fishing line one around 8cm long and another 3 of exactly 12cm. If you're using knots instead of glue then cut them a bit longer to allow for the knots. Glue the three longer pieces between the two ends first. Make sure that they are exactly the same length on each of the three sides. This part is a bit more difficult if you're knotting the line. Next glue the center line into place to pull on the three outside lines and hold the table up. It should be tight enough that the table stands without feeling loose or wobbling, but not too tight that the ends of the table bend. Once you're happy with your table, trim any excess fishing line and make sure that the glue joints are secure and dry. If you're using magnets, glue the outside three lines into place at the correct and even length and then add the magnets to the middle afterwards with the opposite poles facing each other. The magnetic table can't really hold much weight, but you could get more by positioning the magnets closer together. There's a bit of a trade-off here though, because if they're too close together then you can't see the gap between them well, and then it just looks like the magnets are rigidly holding the table up. I tested the fishing line table in my previous video, and it held up around 200 grams. Enjoy making your own tensegrity tables, let me know how it goes in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Remember to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more tech and electronics projects, tutorials and reviews.